Hello. Hello. Can everybody hear me, first of all? Can you hear me at the back there, guys? All good? Thanks very much. Can you hear me outside? Yeah, Pasquale talking with Mr. Maker. Look, two legends. Two entertainment legends right there. Okay, um, thank you very much for coming. What a, what a wonderful uh, turnout there in that weather. It really is, and great to see so many familiar faces as well. For those of you who don't know, I'm Paul Hendy. I'm the producer of the pantomime here at the Marlowe Theatre. So I knew Dave very well for many years. I first came here in 1997 for Beauty and the Beast. How many people remember Beauty and the Beast? One. Thanks. <laughs> what a classic that was. Two. Thank you, Mark Everett. Three. Okay, we'll leave it. We'll leave it there. Thank you very much. It was Lewis Collins. It was Daniela Westbrook, and I was introduced to a guy, and they said, "This is the legend that is Dave Lee." I remember it so clearly. They said, "This is the legend that is Dave Lee," and I thought, "Well, I saw him on the Royal Variety performance once, but I'm not sure legend is quite right." But within a week of being in Kent, I knew exactly what they meant because. Dave was a legend. Dave Lee knew absolutely everybody, and everybody knew Dave Lee. And they didn't just know him, they loved him, like they, like they love a mate. And I always think of Dave like that. I'm not sure if he's a man of Kent or a Kentish man, but he's certainly a mate of Kent. And I always think of Dave, he's a what? Man of Kent. But I think he's a mate of Kent. Kent's best mate is how I think of him. And... I remember seeing him once, Emily and I were walking in Sandwich, and he was driving down Sandwich High Street, it's pedestrianised, uh, which he shouldn't have been doing, but Dave can do that. I said, <laughs> Dave, I said to Dave, what are you doing here, mate? Bit off your patch. He said, oh, I'm just driving round my shire. And he was, only, he was only joking when he said it, but I said to Dave and I said to Emily, do you know what, Dave, this is your shire, Kent is your shire. I said, what are you doing in Sandwich? He said, well, I was feeling peckish and I thought I'd come to Sandwich for a sandwich. I'm sorry about the accent, by the way. Where's Debbie? Sorry, I know that's nothing like him. That impression was so bad, you thought Davro was here, didn't you? <laughs> no. <laughs> he said, I'm so peckish. I want a sandwich in sandwich. I said, and David, have you had a sandwich in sandwich? He said, no, I've had a baguette. <laughs> I said, why have you had a baguette? He said, because it was bigger. So, the good thing about David, you'd always have a laugh with David. And we've all, all got so many fond memories of him here, from the golf days, from the, the variety shows. He, he did over 1,200 pantomimes here, 1,200 performances. And do you know what? He never missed a single performance, which is an incredible testament to his, to his attitude. Because, you know, Dave, sometimes he was ill, he couldn't go on stage, but he went on there, and I always tell that to the young guys who are coming through who perform here. Dave Lee did 1,200 shows, never missed a single show. The variety shows he did, I'm sure most of you here used to come to the variety shows. Six hours long, if I think was the, the longest one. Chaz and Dave playing at what time was it, mate? One o'clock in the morning. Um, I know when Dave was putting those shows together, the first name on the team list was a guy who was going to come up here and say a few words now. So uh, give him a nice big round of applause. I know he's travelled a very long way to be here, but he, I know he wouldn't have missed it either. Big round of applause for the one and only Richard Digens. Thanks, everyone. Uh, good morning. Um, you probably recall that uh, um, Dave and I go back a long, 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 long way and uh, it's a, a great honour uh, to be here today and uh, as I um, spoke at the service at the cathedral over there, uh, it's very sad for me to work my way down <laughs> to a proxy foyer. <laughs> But nonetheless, you're probably thinking, has he brought a script with him? Of course I have. Uh, don't have time to learn these things. Um, but I just wanted to say a few words on behalf of, um, of the team. We, we call ourselves, uh, um, which, which I'll come to in just a tick, we used to call ourselves um, the Brotherhood, and we used to do fundraising, and Dave was our leader, as you'll hear. And uh, I spoke to Darren, and I said to Darren, look, if, if anyone's uh, not speaking on behalf of the gang, I'd like to say a few words, so uh, uh, please forgive the, uh, the script, but uh, 
Uh, didn't have time really to sort of go through it. But anyway, there might be a few clangers in this, but hey, I'm never going to work here again, so who gives a <laughs> shit? <Fair. laughs> well, I want pain next time, he won't have that yet. <laughs> The statue today that we've all been looking at is an amazing tribute to an amazing man. Of course, it would have been a lot cheaper, size-wise and material-wise, <laughs> if we were celebrating the passing of Paul Daniels. <laughs> but firstly, we're not. <laughs> and secondly, if we were, I wouldn't be here. In the early days, in the early days, please don't record this. Please. Oh, he's only a little gone, I don't care. In the early days, when Dave and me were the support act to Chaz and Dave, we formed what we called loosely the Brotherhood. Dave, me, Brian Connolly, Bradley Walsh, and my best mate there, Joe Pasquale. We had a pact that whenever any of us needed each other for charity work, we had to be there for each other. No excuses. And I'm here today to keep that pledge alive to the very end. Dave Lee led the Brotherhood, and that's why his pantomime work here at the Marlow was so special to all of us. Quite simply, he was too busy to call on us while he was in panto. <laughs> So we could go about our partying and our Christmas shopping without fear of a phone call. Hello? <laughs> Ring a bell with any of you? <laughs> it's Dave. Got your diary, Andy, mate? He'd never miss a panto, so we were free. But this amazing tribute goes way beyond the Marlowe. Even though we all know the pleasure he's brought to literally thousands of kids here as the pantomime dame, probably the most famous and respected pantomime dame in the country. As we all know, pantomime dames are great, big, larger than life characters. And as you can see from the statue, Dave was the only dame in the history of the theatre who actually had to lose weight to play the part. <laughs> But the statue represents two million pounds worth of little smiling faces. It represents the proud smiles today of Debbie, Darren and Justin and their own children. And for us, the Brotherhood, it's here as a testament to our leader, who with Linda just wouldn't take no for an answer when it comes to fundraising. All the golf days, the hangovers he bestowed upon us, the concerts here at the Marlow, the late nights in those early days across the road at the Pilgrims. No car park. <laughs> <laughs> but in the old days, we were allowed to park in the Marlow car park. <laughs> <laughs> They're all captured, years of them, in that amazing sculpture. To those who pass by, they won't know the half of it. And neither should they. Some of you here today won't know the half of it, and neither should you. Some passers-by will say, who's that then? But that isn't important, because there's thousands of children who know who he was, and now he changed their lives. The bench routine was bigger than anyone could imagine. The choir boys at Dave's service at Canterbury Cathedral did it proud. The final rendition by the guys at the Winter Gardens that jolted our memories the annual performance at this theatre. None of it will ever be forgotten. I'm not here for the theatre. I'm not here for the pantomime. I'm here for my friend Dave, for our brotherhood, for Debbie, Darren and Justin. Such is the power of this man that even when he's no longer here, he can still get me up at five o'clock <laughs> in the morning. <laughs> pissing down bloody Thursday. <laughs> when, quite frankly, we've all got better things to do. <laughs> but that's Dave Lee for you. <laughs> this is an amazing statue. Well done, my mate, wherever you are. Amazing statue, an amazing tribute 
And if I had to sum him up in one sentence, it would simply say, inside this bronze figure, there's a heart of gold. Yeah. Thank you. Richard, spot on, mate. Richard Digens, well done. He's done it again. He did it. He did it in the cathedral. That, I don't know if you were there in the cathedral, but that speech he did in the cathedral, Dave would have been so proud of that to have two thousand people laughter ringing out around the cathedral. There, well done, Richard. Well done, mate. And Dave would be very proud. Thank you. Okay. By the way, Dominic, where is Dominic? Let's say thank you to Dominic, the sculptor. Where are you, Dominic? Great big round of applause to Dominic. Thank you, Dominic. Brilliant. Do you want to say a few words, Dominic? I've uh, written something down. It's not very funny. <laughs> but it comes from the heart. Dave, me old mate, we did it. He'd love this, but seriously, he would have loved this, this whole day. Dave and I used to joke about how much bronze it would take to make a statue of him. It costs far too much. But thanks to the people of Kent and Dave's many fans and friends and family, uh, we did it. And a special thanks to Debbie, Darren, Justin. You must be so proud. Going to drop that bit. That your dad was loved this much. For all you, this is amazing turnout, really amazing turnout. I'm honoured to have been asked to make the statue of my special friend and a very lovely man. Thank you. Thank you, Dominic. Excellent. And next up, to say a few words, somebody who knew Dave very well, not just from the theatre, but also at Gillingham as well, Gillingham FC. Give him a nice big round of applause, please, the theatre director, Mark Everett. Thank you very much, Paul. And the best thing that Paul said this morning was he told everybody who he was, so at least I know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to try and be funny, because I don't, I, graciously, how can I follow what's been said earlier on? But what I did want to say on behalf of all of us at the theatre, and also personally, first of all, thank you very much for all coming down here. The weather is absolutely appalling, isn't it? And uh, as Richard Dijon's just said, I'm sure he's not alone in, with a lot of people who got up really early to make it here um, for this very special day. Um, it's been quite a long time coming, this fabulous piece of art we've got out there now. Um, brilliant for the family to have driven it the way they have done, and a really do play tribute to them. Um, it's, it's not easy to remember great actors and great performers, um, although we do in our own heads, we go for our lives remembering them, and certainly those of us who work in this rather lunatic profession sometimes. But we've got a tangible thing out there which will enable so many people just to remember what Dave was. Yeah, he was a big fella in every sense of the word. The bench will go on. Certainly Paul and I have conversations about the bench gag every year with the pantomime and it will go on um, it'll never be quite the same I suspect we'll all agree with that but it will go on because theatre and entertainment and show business does go on in its own particular way we all miss Dave here and particularly at Christmas when the pantomime opens there always seems to be something slightly missing there and then we get ourselves organised and we get on with it but he's never entirely gone so it's a very memorable day today, I think. We're going to remember today, not least the weather, I suspect. Um, and thank you very much again for coming. It's really good to see you all here. There's crowds around there as well. So fabulous. So thanks very much and everybody's support for this. Thank you. Thank you very much. And finally, of course, the family. We've all got to say... A big thank you to, big round of applause to Debbie. In the words of my brother Darren, you might as well do another speech as everyone else has heard your last three. Charming. 
We would like to welcome you all here today to see the, this magnificent statue of the late great legend of Canterbury, Dave Lee, MBE. Darren, Justin, myself and our families would fondly like to say a massive thank you to everyone who has helped contribute to enable Dave to sit in his rightful place for many years to come. We would like to mention Dominic. He has painstakingly put a huge amount of effort, love and such a passionate fondness to get Dave looking so perfect. We are internally grateful and looking forward to seeing Dominic and Julie for the annual clean. <laughs> <laughs> the Marlow, Paul and Emily Hendy are not forgetting the nightly announcements from Ben Roddy for pushing the bench fund donations by allowing us to shake our buckets at the pantomime. Nikki Travis, Debbie Smith and all the wonderful cast for the spectacular show at the Winter Gardens giving the, ba uh, the Bench Fund a mega massive boost. And everyone who has given so generously by raising the money to enable this wonderful statue to be present here today, because without you, all this would never have happened. I've only got a little bit more. <laughs> Dad was a one-off who brought a smile to everyone's face and who asked for nothing but gave to many. He was a very special man. You were extremely blessed to be his best mate. And I know he had many. <laughs> Dad and Mum are so sorely missed by us all and it is most definitely an empty place without them. May you look down with pride as we look up to you. Let the stars twinkle as they always do. We sit here today thinking of you Wishing, loving and missing you. God bless. Thank you, Debbie. Thank you to all the family. Thank you to Dominic. Thank you to Mark and the theatre. Thank you to the council. And thank you to you, the people of Kent, for supporting this. I started by saying he was introduced to me as a legend. What, 18 years later? The good thing is... The legend lives on. So thank you very much for being here. Good afternoon.